American tech rules the world. Yes, it does, but not in the gee whiz field of quantum computing, which I barely understand. I don't understand it, period. Mm. So who better to spell it out for me and explain than Michio Kaku, physics professor extraordinaire and the author of that book, The Future of Humanity. Professor, welcome to the program. Glad to be on the show again. Just treat me as a common or garden idiot, please, and explain <laughs> what is quantum computing. Well, remember when we were kids, there were vacuum tube televisions and vacuum tube uh, radios. Sure. Remember those days? Remember yeah. well. Then we went to silicon, and everything changed. Silicon Valley got up to ground. All of a sudden, trillion-dollar corporations got started. We could be witnessing the next transition from transistors based on silicon to transistors based on atoms. Oh. So the Pentagon already is raising the alarm bells, saying there's going to be a quantum gap like the missile gap of the 1960s. So it's just a, quantum computing is just the manipulation of individual atoms, that's it? Uh, that's right. In other words, uh, silicon, like for example in your Pentium chip, has a layer about uh, 20 atoms across. That's how small transistors are getting. However, uh, in the next decade or so, Moore's law will slow down, computer power will level off, Okay. And we're going to go to the next transition, which could be molecular computers, optical computers, or quantum computers. We're going to enter the post-silicon era. Like today, we are in the post-vacuum tube era. We're going to be in the post-silicon era. In other words, Silicon Valley could become a rust belt. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. So you're implying, and, and I think the premise of your appearance today is, that China is ahead of us in quantum computing. That's right. However, we shouldn't hyperventilate, because <laughs> the actual creation of a successful quantum computer, which could crack any code on the planet Earth, any nation's code can be cracked like that, we're still decades away from that, from that goal. So we shouldn't think that all of a sudden everything's going to collapse because of this. But American companies are involved in quantum computing. Everybody's involved. Microsoft, Google, all of them are rushing in to learn the quantum mechanics of atoms because we're going to be computing on individual atoms. Individual atoms in a magnetic field can be either up or down or sideways or in between. So instead of zeros and ones, zeros and ones, you can have anything in between zeros and one. Now think about that. Yeah. Anything in between zero and one you can compute with. Why? That would make an ordinary silicon computer look obsolete like a Model T. Um, can you find the password for my Gmail account? <laughs> my because um, I'm having trouble. A quantum computer will break any password, any code. Uh, this is why the CIA and the NSA have had study groups. We know this because, of course, these documents have been leaked. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, of course. That the CIA and the NSA have looked into it, and they say that it's still decades away. However, we've got to get into it now before right. other nations get there first. I'm sure we will, because there's surely profit involved. <laughs> yes. uh, Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I understand. <laughs>